having said all this, I, I've been here now two days and I'm literally going across country. I spent one, I've been here two days. I've, I've, I'm going across the country in the month. And the one day that I've done so, so far filming has been in San Francisco. And I can tell you, I was shocked by pretty much everyone we spoke to. Their problems were illegal migration, illegal really? immigrants in San Francisco. Were these and liberals? Th just everybody. There were everybody. Used to be. Like I'm talking about in the. It used in, to be. It was like the. It the, used to be. Yeah, the it was. The video is going to come out. It's, it's a pretty crazy place. I've never seen anything like that. I used to be a heroin addict, and I have never seen people on the nod in the way that I saw them on. on well, the, let's 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 dive into this. Can you explain what you saw in San Francisco? Yeah. Oh, well, you'll be able to see it on Sunday. Yeah, uh, aviacrossamerica.com. There you go. You can watch it on, on Sunday. But what, what I saw, I spoke to um, anyone I could talk to in, in uh, Tenderloin um, and you, you literally like everyone's really passionate there because they're living the, what I can only describe as uh, I guess a, the Democrats dream for the rest of the country. And it's, it kind of presents itself as a warning and Everybody there, so almost everybody. The only person that I think I spoke to that was kind of pro um, Harris was saying, "Yes, it's going to be great when this spreads around the rest of the country." But they were saying that it all came down. Like a lot of them came down to illegal I illegal migrants taking all their opportunities and take and you know that's how they feel. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But this is how the average and mostly African Americans that I spoke to were feeling. And I, you, I don't know if they're going to be voting because I get the feeling there that most people don't really, that, you know, all they're really they fixed know. on is the next hit. Have you seen the story out of Chicago with this? The the black residents literally said we are being replaced. That was their quote. Yeah. Because the the illegal immigrants. But uh, I don't know, man. How is it in Australia? Was it how, how you, you seem shocked by it? Australia must be nice. Uh, well, can, it, I've never seen anything like that. I, I, I dare say it would, it's, it, it'll come. Um, but it was a pretty big shock. It's confronting to see. Um, and, and like I said, I, I'm somebody that has my own history. I spent my teenage years on the streets, you know, shooting up heroin in my arm. But I have not seen that. Fentanyl is a scary. So exactly what were you saying? Like people were doing this drugs. Oh, they're doing the drugs on the street. That's like, okay, I've, I've, I've seen that before, but I've, yeah. I've never seen them firstly do it so openly. Um, and, and we spoke to cops on the street as well and kind of telling us in their way what's what's going on um, and, and, and what the issue sort of is when you can read between the lines of what they're saying. But people are literally, literally falling over. There's wow. no, there's no, you know, there's no fear of any consequence because there is no consequence. And, um, it's, it's, you, you, you walk into this bizarre alternative reality, which is horrible. Like you feel bad. I was, they were really nice people straight up. Everybody would talk what, to me, were almost there, everybody, except like a couple of drug dealers and, um, these are, these are drug users. Talk drug about. users. Wow. But all like on the nod right. talking to us. Ratio. How many regular people going to buy a Starbucks and how many people doing fentanyl? There. Yeah. There's more fentanyl. More fentanyl. I, I was, Everybody's I was using. But that's because San Francisco has made the Tenderloin District Exa and that's a, what people a will mecca for drugs. I mean, they, they talk about it. They, they First off, it's taxpayer funded for the most part, but they talk about it like, well, it's good because we know where you are. And so if you overdose, we can help you or we can make sure you have clean needles. Anyone like, who it's says it's good, to, go there. That's the thing. Like, to me, it's like, this is where you want to be. And I'm, I'm almost not surprised that people are so comfortable talking to you because oh. this is part of the routine. I mean, I, was, I read an interview uh, about a year ago with... Uh, um, like a volunteer worker who worked in the air because they do have different like areas set up to try and help people and say, well, are you interested in going to rehab? And they're like, no, thank you. I would rather stay here uh, well, because it's a culture of like, well, this is the norm and this is what we're doing. It, it, there was a bunch of people that I met there that said they actually came, that they weren't yeah. from there. They came there for the, for the drugs and for the freedom. There was one who told me they actually came for the support that was offered around drugs. So they joined a rehab, they got off drugs, but then, um, and then they remained clean for a couple of years, but then just from being around, everyone you know is essentially on drugs, they got pulled back into it. And it's yeah. it's hard, like a 23 year old, you know, boy to me, like I feel like my kids are almost that age. He's telling me, you know, he's been on it, he's waiting to get off it, he's, he, doesn't, he doesn't sleep at night because the two bags of his 
property that he owns, the two things that he owns, bags of, of stuff he owns in his life, he will lose it if he falls asleep at night. It'll just be taken. It's a it's it's a insane place. And if 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 really that is um the future of of anywhere, like broader America, I would do anything to vote against that. What do you think the th- they should do the government at least. What what should they do to rectify it? Make drugs illegal again. To be honest, like I, <laughs> I I'm like I, I'm somebody that kind of sits in a weird position because this conversation is being had in Australia about legalizing drugs and and in our capital in in our capital I think they are legalizing or decriminalizing heavy drugs, and I I, I dare say that anyone in Australia who supports that should actually go. Um, to San Francisco and and see how, how that actually ends up. It it doesn't end well. And as somebody that you know, I used to use. Um, we had uh, needle exchanges and all that. So I think like I I can see a balance in stuff. Having said that, when I was a kid, it also encouraged me to use drugs because you, it was easier for me to call at two a.m. a needle exchange to deliver needles than it was to get let's say a pizza at that time. So. Uh, having, you know, even in my time, in my experience, I may not have done, uh, have gone as far if it wasn't as accessible and it's nothing compared to, to on the street in San Francisco, in the open. I remember we had to like hide from the police to score drugs. Literally there, they, it's all it's happening. Ruined, it's ruined the funny. city. I mean, the, the stores are shutting down. Nothing. There, 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 there yeah. was a, a big store. I think Walgreens pharmacies were closing and there were elderly people who now had to walk you know, four more blocks and it was very difficult for them to get, to get their prescriptions. The, uh, the mall wrote off their lease and basically the, the company that owned it forfeited the the loan to the, to the, uh, um, to their creditor. And the same thing happened with several of the largest hotels in the city. Yeah. They, it, they have to know that these policies have resulted in the city falling apart. If you make it illegal and cause I think there's no, probably no easy solution, which is why it hasn't been solved yet. Then would it criminalize possession and all those people would just start getting rounded up and sent to a jail to round them up and send them to rehab force it. I don't look, I don't know. It's a hard thing. You can't get somebody off drugs. who doesn't want to get off drugs. It's, it's true. And the problem is that, that their policies has just encouraged so many more people to get on drugs. So what are you going to do with those that are already on drugs? Yeah, it's a problem, but you better stop it now because what you have now is bad enough. You're going to, that's going to, the problem is going to just grow. And, and and everybody there admits it. Like even the drug users, the majority of them admit that there is a major problem. I could like see, like not all drugs are the same. Like weed, it stinks when no. it's smoked, but it's not heroin. No. It's not opioids. It's, it's not, not I've never, fentanyl. I've never seen anything like that. And I'm I something. think, and there's not I think as they got to ban all drugs in Australia, right? I don't think, yeah, all drugs. Know, I'm drinking easy. caffeine right now. All you drugs sell drugs. Man. No, no, no. All I'm drug, still, all drugs, caffeine. every single one. Ibuprofen, gone. <laughs> Silly man. All of them out. So there really is a conversation like fentanyl. I've never had like much up close experience with fentanyl. Have you? I mean, I don't know anybody that's no. been on fentanyl. I haven't watched. You have re- recently. I've never, I've never, I've never seen it. I, you know, the crazy thing is these stories where, you know, these young, these college kids or these high school kids will buy some kind of pill or something. It'll be laced with fentanyl and they'll die. Mm. Why would a dealer do that? I think it's a mistake. Yeah. I think, that, I think the, when they put mm. fentanyl in it, it's because it's an accident that they put that much in. Yeah, that much. I think I, 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 it's cheaper than some other. Yeah, ones. it'll get you high. Uh, I was, I was going to tell you a story from my childhood, but probably not good to say. Not a good one. But, not a good one. But, um, but, but it, the idea is probably to get the kids really high for really cheap and keep, just keep miscalculated. Back. Yeah. Wow. Because the other thing is like- It'll be a great high for sure. There's a reason why that many people are on it. You know, I, I got prescribed uh, opioids for when I had my impacted tooth. They do nothing for me. Just has zero impact. What was it? What was what? What, what we joke about? Uh, like what, do you know the the milligrams of it? Like, was it not strong enough? Were you not? I, 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 I don't know. All I know is that it doesn't. It doesn't do anything for the pain. That like, I've I've yeah. you know. Well, so when when I when I had it before for a kidney stone, it feels good, mm. but the pain is still one hundred percent. Oh, the that's the thing about opioids. They don't actually stop the pain. They make you not care about it, which mm. is weird. So or I that's the way it's cared. described. Really, you weren't yeah. having enough. So when I I got a kidney stone seven years ago and uh, went to the ER. And uh, because I didn't know what it was, I thought I might have had had appendicitis and they gave me everything and none of it worked. And so then they finally gave me Toradol, which is an NSAID and ping gone. 
So I'm an ibuprofen fan. That stuff seems to do the job for I'm me. I'm caffeine all the way. That's my drug well, that's of a, not That's not a painkiller. So. But isn't this one of the problems I, with fentanyl, anyway. which is that people are affected by it differently? Like there's not a universal fatal dose, but it can be very fatal in small quantities. And that's also interesting that you're saying there's none in Australia. I mean, or at least- I don't, I don't think there's a not fentanyl as issue yet in, yeah, in it, Australia. But I don't think Australia had the same kind of opioid crisis that we- Oh, uh, we did. Our, we, really? Of, uh, I don't know if it's the same as here, but it was, you know- during the back night. In my, yeah, my, but back when I was a teenager, like even the 2000s, like heroin was everywhere. Now that now they're just getting into the coke. But you didn't have like the prescription opioid that's, crisis. That's the no. thing here in the US. That's a lot of that yeah. is driven by prescriptions and by, by well, doctors. Because it was th there that. are three waves of the opioid crisis in America, and one component of it was the the over prescription yeah. of yeah. of opioids, which is fascinating because then it makes it easier to say like. Well, Have you tried fentanyl? They were telling doctors that opioids were not addictive. Yeah. I don't know what, why on earth they were doing that. You sell them. Well, I, yeah. I, I, Phil, I don't uh, know if you've heard of Big yeah. Pharma. That's well, I mean, girl. yes. But I think that was his sarca that was sarcasm. I think. Yeah, like, I, I mean, read that wrong. it seems obvious that those that those drugs are addictive. Um, so just, why doctors weren't saying, oh, hey. We have to be. We have to at least, you know manage your pain with this. Well, uh, to be but fair also, to doctors, I don't think doctors themselves knew. Well, I don't think doctors know very much. They're glorified pharmacists half the time. They just know whatever they're no, told. It's by the way, fentanyl is a schedule two. Uh, what marijuana is a schedule one? For some I know reason. that's why I'm surprised. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Along with oxycodone and hydrocodone, schedule two. Those, those are wild drugs. Like they, uh, compared to any other family of drugs, like I just. There's nothing more addictive. Like they actually, you, you become so dependent on it so quickly. That's just true. heroin that you you can't live without. You just can't live with. You're, you're sick as a dog. Like I've been when I was a kid, I was on everything else except. But heroin was the thing that got me because once you started it, there was no there was no turning back. 